Hi everybody, this is the final video in a three-part series going over how to solve electric motor noise using ANSYS. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the harmonic response using the solutions that we gained from the Maxwell and modal simulations that we did in the first two videos. So the first thing, since we um, did change the Maxwell solution a little bit, we need to update that again. So to update that, just right click on solution and click update. Now that our Maxwell solution is finished updating, uh, we can start working in mechanical. So first, if there is a, um, if you see these green arrows here in the setup block, right click setup and hit refresh. Um, if you just see a question mark next to the setup block, then you don't have to worry about this step. You can just move on. Once the setup block has finished refreshing, we can go ahead and open mechanical. So double click on setup. And now under harmonic response, you'll see the imported remote loads. So we want to import those loads onto the stator T. So to do that, we go into um, the scoping method, and change that to name selection, and then select uh, tips, the name selection that we created um, on the faces of all of those teeth. Once that's done, uh, go ahead and right click on imported remote loads and say generate remote loads. Once our remote loads are imported, if we click on analysis settings, we can see um, all of the settings that were brought in from Maxwell with our imported load. We can change the settings here if we'd like, um, but I'm just going to leave them um, as we set them up in Maxwell. Next, we want to create our um, waterfall diagram. To do that, right click on solution, go to insert, frequency response, and ERP level waterfall diagram. Now the geometry you want to scope this to is all of these surfaces on the uh, exterior part of our motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this outer body here, hide all other bodies, and then hit control A. That's now selected all of the faces on this body. Um, but again, I only want the ones on the outside. So I'm going to hold control and then deselect these faces that I don't want to be included in the waterfall diagram. So for me, it's the three bolt holes and the two, uh, these two out, um, faces here. So once that's done, go ahead and click apply on geometry selection. And then our harmonic response is all set up, so we can solve it by right-clicking on solution and hit solve. Right, now that our solution has finished solving, uh, we can look at the waterfall diagram. Uh, we can change the bands here to make this a little more, uh, a little more useful information. Uh, now we can use this waterfall diagram to look at the areas where the most noise is being created. Uh, and the frequency of that noise based on the motor speed. In addition to the waterfall diagram, we can also look at the deformation of the motor uh, at different frequencies. So I right clicked on insertion, or one right click on solution, went to insert, deformation, and I'm going to go to depth directional. And I'm going to do that one more time so I can create two different deformation plots. So the first deformation plot is going to be on the x-axis. I want to change the coordinate system from global to the cylindrical coordinate system that I created earlier. And I'm going to define this by, rather than by frequency, I'm going to define it by set and say set number five. And then direct fond in. The second one, I'm going to change the axis or the orientation to the y-axis and make sure I change it to our cylindrical coordinate system. And then going to the same uh, frequency here, so set number five. So what is it going to show us? It's going to show us um, the x-axis, which is going to be the uh, radial deformation, and the y-axis is going to show us the tangential deformation. So we right-click, say evaluate all results. And then we can click on these two, and we can look at those, the deformations in those two different directions. Here's the radial and tangential. So that's it for this video series going over how to simulate electric motor noise using ANSYS. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, 
um, go ahead and check out our YouTube channel for other ANSYS tutorials. This video is brought to you by Ozen Engineering, an ANSYS Elite channel partner. We use physics-based simulation to solve multidisciplinary engineering problems. We specialize in FEA, CFD, and high and low frequency electromagnetics. For more information, you can email us at info at ozeninc.com, call us at our office phone number, or visit our website at www.ozeninc.com.